Well, Brent and Sarah, it's really not bad out here at all. We're really just seeing wet roads, but right now I'm at the Department of Public Works where some of these guys have been out all of last night and early this morning, making sure those roads are salted and shoveled and the same goes for Public Works employees throughout the state. The roads were slippery. Mark Owens and his team of 17 snowplow drivers were called in at 8 last night, pre-treating the roads before the bulk of it started coming down. But their work is not done, as temperatures are expected to dip to the 20s, creating icy roads. We're going to schedule people to come back five trucks tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Uh, before the school start, there'll be five trucks going out at uh, 430 in the morning. Just minutes away in Coventry is the well known bread and milk street. His father of three was busy snow blowing. Well, of course, taking a break to enjoy some milk and homemade bread. I like it. Um, you know, I was looking forward to maybe like a big storm and then kind of ready for spring. His two sons had a half day of remote learning and spent the rest of the afternoon burning some calories. When I first came out here, I was wondering if it was just powder snow, but then it was harder. So, so then we thought of um, like making a hill down. Before the snow came to an end, Connecticut State Police were busy responding to calls. Sergeant Christine Jeltima telling Fox 61 from midnight to 2 this afternoon, they had a total of 700 calls for service. 87 of them were car accidents and 62 of them were drivers stranded in the storm. We had a bunch of tractor trailer jackknife this morning or accidents involving tractor trailers and thankfully none of those were anything critical. Now, at state police said luckily there were no fatalities last night or this morning, and it seems like drivers were well prepared for this storm. But coming up at six, we'll hear from a doctor who has some friendly reminders for anyone who still has to shovel themselves out of their driveway. I'm Livin Harford, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.